Hello friends, welcome to Silicon VLSI. Today we will discuss about SRAM, Weed and Write operation. So before moving ahead, let's understand the 60 transistor structure. This one is M1, M2 we call as a pull down transistor that is NMOS. This M3 and M4 we call as a access transistor that is also NMOS. And this M5 and M6 that is pull, pull up transistor that is PMOS. So each transistor have a different importance in read and write operation. So let's start. So first in read operation, first step is pre-charge, bit line and bit line bar. Why we are doing pre-charge bit line and bit line bar? So this one is an important question in interview. Like why we are doing pre-charge bit line and bit line bar before read or write operation? So if you notice that in SRAM array we have n number of bit line and bit line bar. So during the off or ideal condition there is some leakage if let's assume this bit line has a 1 this bit line bar is a 0 so during the leakage there might be some leakage through this NMOS so it might be like 0.8 volt or 0.7 volt so to ensure that bit line and bit line bar should 1 so if, so for that reason we are doing pre-charge bit line and bit line bar so first step is pre-charge bit line and bit line bar to 1 now second step is turn on the word line so is, let's assume 0 is here 1 is here we want to read this 0 and we want to read this 1 so for read operation as soon as the we turn on the word line so let's assume 1 is there 1 is here because we pre-charge bit line and bit line bar so as soon as we turn on the word line so for second step is turn on the word line turn on word line as soon as we turn on the word line here one volt is present so another one volt is there so there is no operation will happen because both have the same potential but here we have one here and zero here so transition will happen through this in read operation so we want to read this zero from this so ideally one is uh, one is here so as soon as we turn on the word line this one will discharge through this this path but is we have one volt here so ideally this n1 is on because one is here so it is turn on m1 so this zero here let's assume this one is going here let's assume it is like charging initial state is charging 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 so this be, because this is also turn on so whatever potential coming here it is discharging through this path so ideally here after some time it is becoming 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.6 so what happen is is here 0 0.6 we have one another circuit during the re read operation we have some another circuit called sense amplifier for read operation we are using the sense amplifier so it is connecting with bit line and bit line bar so what happen is here sense amplifier will be there in this simplifier also have a this back to back connection that I will cover in next video. So as soon as sense simplifier sends the data like 0 0.6 is here, it will discharge fastly 0 0.6. So whatever voltage here, it will fastly discharge through this path and it will give us 0. So whatever 0 we have in this location, ideally we are reading through this sense simplifier. So for read operation, we have sense amplifier also to make faster transition to make fast sense this bit line and bit line bar voltage so for that reason we are using the sense amplifier for read operation 
So the ideal condition for read operation is this M1 should be stronger than this excess transistor. So whatever voltage here, it will fastly discharge through this. So for read operation, we have two things helping for read operation. One is this M1 stronger and second one is this sense amplifier. This help us to reduce the time to sense the data between difference between bit line and bit line bar. So for read operation, M1 must be stronger than M3. This is the main condition for read operation. So this M1 or M2 should be more stronger than M3 or M4. So this is how read operation is happening. If you have any question, please comment. I will explain. So for read operation, we are using the sense amplifier. And as I say, we have to pre-charge bit line and bit line bar before any operation, read or write, to ensure the data both have a one because of the leakage. In, in short, we can say we are doing a pre-charge bit line and bit line bar because of the leakage.